Okay, so I got a text message a couple hours ago. We had a hearing today for baby T to find out if he's going home back to his mom. And um, we found out that he's going home. So after a month of him being with us, he's being returned, reunified. That's what we're talking about. Today, uh, mixed feelings, but we'll get into it. Let's go. Okay, so, woo, it's starting to hit me. Um, it's just crazy how these kids can just come into your life so quickly, and as they leave, you can't help but feel emotional about it. You know, I, I, I obviously I knew about this court date was happening um, today, and I knew that he was potentially going to be going home, and I prepared myself for this as best as I possibly could. My Instagram has gone crazy because I just posted about this. Um, and like, I had to like, I was going to tour a house today. R came with me for that. T went to daycare because I just was like, I had something to do with R today. I was like, I need to keep him out, go send T to daycare. And then I get this information, this news and like I said, I was prepared, but as I went to go check out a new daycare for now just R, and then I get done that, and after all the traffic and that, I just talked to supervisor at DCFS about how we're gonna do this transfer tomorrow of T, and I got off the phone and it's like, boom, after my whole day was done, or is ending, and I'm going to pick T up, it, it starts like the the sadness starts and it's it's just it's it's sad you know and I don't fully agree with him going home and I know that there are many others around the case that don't necessarily agree but we gotta believe and trust that the judges are doing what's best for the children and and like for me I rest in that like I know that I just have to trust this process I don't know the whole case I don't know the whole scope of everything I actually know very little <laughs> so I don't have an informed opinion based off the entirety of the case so with that being said I have to trust that the professionals that are involved in this you know are making the best decision for T but you know i'm gonna go pick him up and i'll put him to sleep tonight and it'll be a little sad but you know i'm gonna i'll survive and um he'll survive and i do feel a little bit like you know r has had a friend for the last month and i just you know i think about like i was talking to r's mom today and she said do you think you want to keep fostering i said of course i want to keep fostering um but you know part of me wonders like I saw the relationship that T and R had. It was beautiful and lovely. And I just thought to myself, like, what I'm concerned is how does a child coming in and out affect R, you know? Because these babies are sensitive. They, they connect, that's what they do. They connect easily and quickly. So I don't wanna create an environment where he's just got, you know, little friends he's making over and over and over um, and they're going, coming and going, you know, in the, in the midst of his case, you know? So, I don't know. I don't know. We'll see how things go from there. I'm almost almost at the daycare, so oh, we'll see. We'll see. Things are. We'll see. Okay, guys. We'll see. <laughs> Lots of thoughts. Lots of thoughts going on. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, the emotions are definitely here. <laughs> um, I am a little sad. I know he's only been with me for a month, but I just think about the progression and I think about the transfer tomorrow and it's going to be hard to say goodbye you know he's only been here for a month so there's like I guess lesser feelings I don't know how to explain it but and I expected this to happen grateful to have met this little baby to watch him grow and these are the moments where I know it's like you provided what he needed for the month he was with you and I always got my little man 
Okay, we're home. Oh, dang it. Now, this one's his. We're home, and I almost forgot which bottle was whose because R does not do, uh, can't have dairy. So, um, this one is T's. I know, bud. So, here's one bottle. It's okay, it's okay. There we go. And now T knows there's a bottle around, so he's pissed off he hasn't gotten his. But here it is, buddy. T. Here we go, baby. I'm sorry, not T, R. Okay, so we're home. I picked them up, pick him up. Um, uh, yeah, guys, so I mean, so here's the plan for tomorrow. I talked to the social workers and whatnot. Um, the plan of action is we are going to do like a transfer for T around two o'clock-ish tomorrow. The supervisor was, not the supervisor, the social worker was off today. So I had to deal with the supervisor. Um, so the social worker's gonna, gonna kind of be like walking into all of this. Um, Cause she's got to get paperwork together and all of this stuff. Um, I'm gonna be meeting social worker and bio mom tomorrow to do the transfer. I don't know what this is gonna be like. I have never, ever, done, no, I take that back. Baby S, I did a transfer with, but that was, that was like, uh, I guess it was the same, because I, he, went, he went to like uh, another foster placement that was with his half brother. Um, but this is like family reunified type of thing. So whatever, um, I was feeling a little sad in the car. I don't feel, it's not that I don't feel sad. Honestly, I think I feel more worried um, about the whole situation. Um, but it is what it is. Like, tomorrow might be different. Putting him to bed tonight might be different because it'll be the last time I put him to bed, you know? And we were just starting to build a bond. I mean, like he and I literally were like, just on the brink of like building this bond together. Um, apparently there's a bottle issue over here. Um, so like, it's like, it's sad, but the bond's not super strong. So it's like, I can make peace with it. I do know that if it went any longer, <laughs> this would be even that much more difficult. Here you go, baby. There we go. Oh my gosh, guys. Um, see. They're both doing their thing with those bottles. Um, I don't remember what I was gonna, what I was talking about, other than the fact that like, if it was even, if this was any longer, it would be that much more difficult. And um. You just gotta trust the process. I'm so glad R is still here with me. Um, and, oh, I was thinking about this today. I wanna know what this does to R. I think I may have, I might have talked to you guys about this already, but I'm gonna talk about it again. Like, how does this affect him with, is it like, is this a good idea for me to continue fostering two children because ch two children at a time because I don't want I mean it affects me we all know that these kids are affected by their surroundings their situations and transferring too much so it's just like I I wonder is it is it good to like bring the children in and out when you have one that's pretty stagnant um and I, I have friends oh my god that plant is growing so big oh my gosh okay I don't know what I'm gonna do with this plant. I have to figure this out. Oh my god, it's like a freaking. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, focus, guys. Um, but it's that. It's like, it's huge. Oh, god, it's right. Okay. Anyway, I just worry. I just wonder, like, how it's gonna affect him. So, I'm going to eat this pizza that I'm making right now. It's leftover from last night. Because I had some over. <laughs> and we had some pizza. That's another story for another time. Um, but they're eating, so I'm gonna eat what's left over here. We'll resume this tomorrow. <laughs> tomorrow morning. See how it all goes. Bye guys, talk to you in the morning. Oh, 
Uh, a couple of people have asked me if I have a P.O. box for the kids and stuff like that. Um, no, but I am working on getting a P.O. box this week. So as soon as I do, I'll put it in the description of the videos. Um, that way, because multiple people have been like, I want to send them gifts, I want to send them clothes. Uh, so if you want to do that, it's you can do that. Um, uh, and it would be cool because then I can do videos with the kids in their clothes. So, uh, as soon as that's done, uh, as soon as that's up, I'll get that up. Okay, now goodbye. See you in the morning. Good morning. It is... I don't even know what time it is. Alexa, what time is it? The time is 6.25 a.m. 6.25 a.m. Oh, baby R woke up. Um, my throat is so dry. <laughs> The one thing I hate about California is they give, like, all these places have the crappiest windows. So there's all this, like, doesn't, there's, like, no, uh, there's no humidity anywhere in the apartments. So my throat is so dry. My nose is clogged. His nose is clogged. Are you okay? I hope. Um, T is sleeping. I'm gonna let him sleep as long as he wants. We're gonna go about this day as normal, other than I gotta pack his stuff up. And, and um, we'll go from there. Ow, 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 ow! He just literally grabbed that. Gosh, kid. That hurt. <laughs> anyway, we're getting up. We're getting up. I gotta get this day started. Get some coffee. Get his... Ow, get tea stuff together. And, um... This boy's got a diaper, he's got to get changed. Oh, okay. And um, we'll take it from here. See what time they want us to meet and all that jazz. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Okay, guys. On to the next thing. Okay, so. Whew. We're walking over to Starbucks now. It is absolutely freezing. The kids have on warm clothes and beanies. This is our last Starbucks walk. It's our last walk. Well, at least with tea. So, um, I told him he could sit up top today. We got R at the bottom. And, um, <clears throat> you know, I, I'm going to be meeting my friend Amy. So there's a ton of people at Starbucks that know us all. We know them. And, um, so I was just like, I was like, Amy, she knew it was his last day today. And I was like, we're headed to Starbucks. So she's going to come and say goodbye. And, um, yeah, I, I feel okay. I have some things going on in my head that are getting me a little bit down, a little bit low, um, that are not related to tea. Uh, it's just to my life personally. Um, and I, I'm actually gonna do a video about that for you guys. Um, but this morning I woke him up and I was just like, we're going back to mommy today. and. I don't know. He seems happy today. Maybe he knows. Maybe he's excited. So, okay. Let me cross this busy, busy street and get off my phone. Hi. He's going home today. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, so, this is his last day. Oh, look at it's his smile. last day. Yeah. I love it's you. okay. Yeah. Oh, we're yeah, gonna miss yeah, you, yeah. my man. <laughs> we're gonna miss you, bud. 
your last day. It's your last day at our Starbucks. Yeah. There's baby T back there with Amy. With your friends. And Miss Mommy. <laughs> Okay, so we've got some major crying going on in the bedroom here. We got two bottles. Hold on, hold on. Um, here's what we're doing. <laughs> I don't know if they want to sleep or eat. They both look passed out. Here, buddy. We're gonna give T a bottle. I know, buddy. I know. Here you go. Here you go. Okay, it's coming. Can I do it rather than you do it? Thank you so much. I know you want to help. It's right here. Let me hand it to you. Here we go. You gotta hold it. I'm not gonna hold it. You know how to hold it, homie. Okay. <clears throat> All right. They're eating. Here's the deal. I spoke to a social worker. She'll be here at two o'clock. She's gonna take tea and then bring him back to mom later. I have all of this stuff over here. This is literally like, people give me so much stuff. I've got like diapers and clothes and they're all like, look at that beautiful stuff. What is up with L? Oh, I'm gonna take a photo here because this is gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Let me get another one. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. This is T's right here, this bag. Uh, this is T's, so I need to get all that together. I, I think there's more stuff that says, get that together, get things ready for him to go. I just can't get enough of that sky. Like what even is happening? Oh, so lucky. Legitimately, the most amount of love pouring out on Instagram, I, I, I just, I literally can't even keep up with with the comments and it's really sweet. The sweetest things people are saying, even on the, the I think I posted on YouTube just a little bit, like a short, like y'all are freaking amazing. Someone said like, you're learning so much about the reunification process and you have a big heart. Like, and it's just like so beautiful to be seen in that way. And like, I am learning. I am learning about reunification and the importance of it and all of that jazz. Okay, I got a lot to get together. Um, I'm glad they're eating. We went to Starbucks and it was really sweet, but everyone was there and just like, they got to say goodbye and stuff. Oh, Carly wants to go out and go to the, use her glitter box. Okay guys, next is, we'll probably be here until the social worker gets here. Okay, it's me and T here. So we just dropped off baby R to a visit with his mother. And now we got some alone time, just me and this guy. And we're watching Darcy and Stacy. But um, he's actually, social worker should be here in 20 minutes to pick him up. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you, bud. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be interesting not having him around here. Right? He's just looking at the camera like, what? Why do I see myself there? So, this is just about the final goodbye to this little man. Yeah. So, thanks guys. Let's see, drop a comment. I'm wishing him well and safety. Send them some love, everyone. Send them some love. Literally the second, I mean the second I <laughs> press stop recording, social worker called. She's here 20 minutes early. So we're going down now, downstairs. I'm gonna drop him off to her. He's gonna stay safe. And he's gonna make sure that if he needs a home again, he comes back to me. Right, bud? Right. Say bye, everyone. Oh, guys, I fucking hate this. 
I'm not even gonna lie. I say goodbye. Poor kid. Ugh. He's in that car right down there. Fuck, man, I hate this. He's only been here a month. And just to know, like, I can never see that kid again. Ugh, oh, I fucking hate it. I don't even really know what to say. Uh, yeah, it's hard. Oh, I think the tears are like about, I just hope he's going to be safe. Oh, I hope he's going to be safe. Because I know this case, man. Oh. Oh, it's hard. Just one month, man. I'm sorry, keeping you guys here. I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Other than it's hard. It's not impossible because like, I've shared with you guys like, <laughs> you're just building that bond, but the shit is not easy. I do encourage people to do this. I do encourage people to do this because <laughs> the kids need it. And we're adults and we can get through these feelings and these we can get through this. I encourage people to try, try one placement, one. <sighs> the kids need it. She did tell me, the social worker told me if he ends up back in the system, cause she's gonna be following him. He doesn't just go back to mom. Like he's, he's gonna be, he's gonna be following him. She's gonna be following him. She's, he's still got a case plan. There's still gonna be court dates if he gets detained away from her again. She said, I'm calling you right back. <laughs> and you know, he's got a home with me. So, um, I think that's about it guys. Just, uh, if you pray, say a prayer for, for baby T and that he's gonna be taken care of well and he's gonna be safe. And if you're not a prayer, prayer. Send good energy and vibes. Okay, guys. I love you all. Peace out.